So we had the SID display week here, the iZone, and uh, who are you? Uh, my name is Roman Ossold from LPKF. Um, we are presenting light technology, laser-induced deep etching, which is a new technology to make deep micro features in glass. So you can you can make deep micro features. Right. So you know, what, what is that for? Yeah, you know there are a lot of um, good technologies out there to make uh, surface patterns, um, so to process the surface of the glass, but. Um, the column technologies which are available to make deep micro features are limited in terms of quality. So they typically are associated with micro cracks, chipping, thermal stress or other negative effects. And um, we now come up with a new solution, a two-step process. First step is a laser patterning and the second step is etching. So what is happening on this video? Um, this is a, a, a video showing the superior quality of all um, processing technology. So what you see here is glass and um, we use our um, processing technology to make those Kirigami um, um, patterns. Kirigami is a Japanese art to um, cut paper and we adopted this to make these kind of structures and, and that makes glass um, flexible. You can make glass flexible? Um, well, in, in, in the end um, we can make a, a kind of spring with it. Yeah. Kind of a spring. What are we looking at right here? Um, this is this is a more, so uh, this is a example for through glass wires. So in many uh, applications you need electrical interconnects from one side to the other side of the glass. And in order to do such kind of um, interconnects, you need a micro hole, uh, which is later filled up with a metal in order to make it electrically conductive. So where is the hole, for example? Um, there, are, there are actually uh, 610,000 holes in there. 610,000 holes in yeah. each square? Uh, no, not in each square. In the whole? So the whole pattern, um, so the whole panel uh, has 610,000 um, TGVs through glass wires. And this is all done in six minutes. Six minutes? Yeah. Uh, what is it going to be for, all this? Um, well, there are a lot of applications for deep micro features in glass. Um, for example, to make to get rid of the bezel in displays, you can use these um, electrical interconnects um, at the edge of the display you know to make the electrical interconnects and you can get rid of the bezel so for bezel less displays is that what's going on right now with bezel less right yeah. because the uh, display is full of electronics right and to a certain extent you have to uh, bring the electrical signals from the back plane to the back of the back plane <laughs> um, um, so and 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 that is today is is um, done by a flexible pcb and we are proposing to use um, through glass wires um, made by our technology. And uh, what, is, what are we looking at here? Um, this is another type of application. So today, fine metal masks are used for um, making pixels um, in OLED displays. Um, so it's a reusable di uh, mask, masking technology. And in this case, we propose fine glass mask as a replacement for fine metal masks. So right now it's a... Uh, what are the masks based on? Uh, silicone something? Uh, it's a, today um, uh, it's based on Invar, it's a metal alloy, special, very special metal alloy. Um, it doesn't melt? Uh, yes, it's, with it? it's, uh, to, uh, of course, to a certain extent, um, if, if you heat it up, it will melt, of course. But uh, the masks are not supposed to be get hot, or what do they do? Well, the, the, the difficulties you, you see in um, fine metal masks today are more associated with the kind of um, patterns you can create um, uh, with this um, fine metal mask. So typically, these fine metal masks have this kind of uh, lid here, um, which is caused by the processing technologies which are um, used today to make those micro features. And um, with our technology, you can get rid of um, this um, etching lid. So we have no uh, shadowing effect with our um, fine glass masks. So where are you based? Uh, we are based in uh, Hanover, Germany. And uh, uh, what's next? Are you a startup or? 
Um, well, no, the, the company itself is 40 years old, so we are not kind of a startup. Um, LPKF? LPKF is 40 years old. Yeah, um, yeah but th this technology is brand new. So we are um, looking into various kind of applications, um, and several are in the field of a display, but there are also other applications we are looking into. For example? Uh, IC packaging, advanced packaging, um, inkjet, uh, micro-mechanical components. So there are a lot of applications for, for this kind of um, uh, micro-material processing technology. What do you think about the SID Display Week? Uh, well, it's a great um, it's a great show, and especially being here at the iZone, it's a, it's a great opportunity for us. So um, it's been uh, lots of people coming around? Right, right. And discussions? Uh, uh, great. So we, we actually met a lot of um, High, high potential customers uh, and especially showing this technology in the stage it is right now uh, is a, a very high value for us um, because um, um, I think we can really interact with the customer and um, um, exchange ideas where, where to apply our technology um, to, to other kind of applications. Yeah.